A couple of months ago, my eldest granddaughter, six years old, asked me when we were Skyping, she's living in San Francisco, so once a week on Sunday afternoon we are Skyping, and she was asking me, what, by the way, is your age? And I said, at that time, I'm 72. And she said, you are still alive? <laughs> well, I can assure you, life just started. Leaving Brussels, and now a complete new scene. And I have a secret. Next year, beginning of next year, I will be involved in a startup like you. You were so inspiring, you are so inspiring. You are not waiting till politicians are offering you solutions for solving youth unemployment, for just getting the economy uh, right and track. Um, so I thought, why not involved in such an experiment? And the experiment is focused in Amsterdam. No secret so far. And Amsterdam slash the Netherlands. Well, all of you are aware that if you are opening the window in Amsterdam, you are looking already at the neighbors in Belgium and Germany. So it is one cluster in the Netherlands. And we are focusing on you, on the startups. And why? Because I strongly believe, and certainly after 10 years involved in European policy, and I'm a great European believer, there is no alternative. That doesn't mean that you can't be critical. But anyhow, Europe, so to say, the gateway to Europe, and that's the Netherlands, and a gateway has an in and an out. So that gateway in Europe is giving opportunities to startups. What is fascinating me, and I met a lot of you and colleagues of you, what is fascinating me, you are not waiting till there is a solution offered by politicians. You are taking your own initiative. And that is what I'm interested in. I'm interested in getting food for thought tonight. So with your questions and your remarks, please let me know what you are missing. I don't believe that people are saying people on the other side of the ocean or in the Far East are more talented. Come on, you are as talented as they are, and sometimes you are more talented. We should just join and share our efforts. We should join and share our efforts in getting far more initiative. And what is also at stake, it's not only talking about startups, it's talking about the next phase of a startup, it's talking about money. There is enough money. There is enough money in Europe. And now we have to combine your efforts and the efforts of those potential investors. And what is at stake? Don't believe all those stories that there is no food for your initiative. There is. But then we have to be quite explicit. We have to be quite open. We have to be like my role model. And my role model is 94 years old. She's living in Rome. She is involved in an experiment, a research experiment, in building robots. She is involved in those investors, but also in those researchers and those builders of robots. And sh her line is, I couldn't live independently anymore if there wasn't a robot in my house, but I do have requirements. So she is communicating with all those researchers of the universities and so on. And when I was visiting her two weeks ago, I was asking her, 94 years old, she is a writer, she has a blog, she is twittering, and I was asking her, tell me a bit more about your life. And she said, I was 17 when I married my then husband, and I got a child. And my husband didn't like me to go to school, my husband didn't like me to travel, and I followed his line. And she said, when I was 76, he passed away, and then life started. And that is at stake. She went to school, she went to the university, and she now is filling in her line. So don't try to sell me that age is important. It's not. It is your mentality. It's just what you are thinking and what you are willing. And that you are accepting failures too. That is a bit what I'm missing now and then in Europe. And talking about the Netherlands, we are a bit scared to fail. I learn far more from my failures. And I can assure you, my list of failures is much longer than my list of successes. The list of failures 
you are just taking notice of that. And you will never ever try to make that failure again. And your success is, well, you did your utmost, you did fill in what was asked for, and by the way, that was your success. So it was blood, sweat, no tears, but anyhow, it was following the rules of your own input. And for me, the failures are at stake. And that is also with the startups. Failures, and don't believe those stories that in Silicon Valley or wherever, it's always success. It's not. Nine out of ten are failures. But that is the learning curve. And if you haven't made your failures, then I think it is over. For then you didn't take enough risk. And then you didn't do your utmost to find a new area. So what I'm interested in, what with our new initiative, and it will be located in Amsterdam. It will be located on a historical part of Amsterdam. If you, if we are just between us, so don't mention it, it will be where the Navy is still located. We push them out and we will get there and that will be the best part of the city. It will be the inspiring center for those startups and the climate and the policy in just attracting more startups in the Netherlands. And we do have a lot of initiatives. And by the way, then we will be listed in that long list, but not that long, in the list of London, Berlin, Stockholm, Dublin, Amsterdam. And then I need you. So please ask me the questions, give me your remarks, and we will do our utmost just to get again on the front row of that scene. For it is a global scene, and we can do it, and we should do it, and let's go for it. Thank you. Well done, thank you so much. So we have time for some, some questions. Yeah. Um, how should we do? And remarks. Huh? And remarks, of yeah. course, punchy remarks. Yeah. Um, could we turn the house lights up a little bit, and let's say everyone under 25, please stand up. Under 25, yes. <laughs> that are my grandchildren, yes. <laughs> Your grandchildren, some of them, yes. <laughs> Who has a question for Miss Nelly Cruz? We love you! <laughs> are you talking to me or to... Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and me too, yeah? <laughs> yes. Please raise your hand if you have a question. All right, there we go. Please help me. Could you pass it? All the way to the balcony. This is the cooperation that we're talking excellent, about, right? Excellent, excellent. Share and join, huh? Exactly. Okay, well, good afternoon, everyone. Everyone, Very exciting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, really. Um, well, for me, you're a, such an important person because you're a woman that has achieved so much and you're really a role model. And uh, I wanted to ask for young people, especially for young women who really wanted to make it like later in their future, um, what is, what would you, um, oh, I can, okay. What you're is the key uh, to your success? What is the key behind your success? Because you're such an inspirational person and how did you achieve all of this? Like, as a woman, because it's very difficult to achieve something yeah. as a woman. Um, Your secret and th of success. And th and th thank you. Um, they did a big job at the makeup room, so normally it's welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, never take no for granted. And of course, I'm not saying that there is never a no, but not because, so only with arguments. Communicate and follow your heart. If you think that you can make it, and why not? And that is another story. I was invited in Nairobi um, with a program, uh, just uh, Close the Gap, and mm. that is a great program of a guy who took the initiative, all computers that we are not using anymore, right. to repair and so on. And I was invited there. And there was a small uh, girl, she was perhaps eight years old, and I was so fascinating, and that is linked with your remark. For it was a school class with boys and girls, and they were all sitting behind the computer and learning to code and, and so on. And I asked the girl uh, who was sitting close to me, what is your dream for the rest of your life? And she said to be a pilot. 
And I said, why? And she looked at me and she said, <laughs> why not me? Yes. And <laughs> that is exactly the point. And when the, the boys were asked, what are you? They said, oh, repairing computers. And I said, keep it like that. For yeah. the, girls <laughs> will take, the girls will take the lead. So anyhow, take your initiatives. Don't wait too long and just go for it. For, and that is the expectation. We are all getting older if we are very careful in traffic, and especially in Amsterdam, by the way. Mm -hmm. So don't bike for this. Uh, <laughs> having said that, um, if you are just looking at the line that normally spoken, the expectation of your life will be, it's so fascinating to do nice and interesting things. So just don't spoil, have fun, and follow your heart, and take initiatives. <laughs> Your startup is so important, and it's not only this startup, but it is starting up with and joining with others. Right. Okay. Thank you so much to me. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Really. <laughs> Next question. And, Sorry, it's and, and if you allow me, yes. just, you can combine it with a family. I am not the best example for I had two divorces, <laughs> but my friends sometimes taking initiatives still are married to the, the same one. So, okay, I'm not <laughs> certain who is more lucky. But for me, the best what I could get is that my, uh, my yeah, son is saying, and he is in the meantime American and initiatives taken and so on, that he is saying what you did with the education in giving an example that is the best you can deliver, and they are doing the same. So, combining with a family can be done, no doubt about okay. that. <laughs> Julie Thank noted. You. Thank you a lot. Please back, uh, give back the microphone, or do you have a question? Excellent. I do. Hi, Nelly. What's your name? My name is Daniel Haven. I have a start of myself, and I wanted to ask you a question about your ideology and perhaps politics. Um, I spend way too much time with all kinds of lawyers because of oh. all the laws. Mm -hmm. So I was asking my tax lawyer actually, so what do you think about this? Because I feel like I'm spending way too much time with you while I want to spend time on my startup. And he said, well, you know what, Daniel? In Holland, we thought of it as if uh, we created all these rules yeah. to catch that one guy that might cheat. And because of that, you know, the nine others, if you have a group of 10, the nine others mm. might have to work harder on the laws or, you know, <laughs> on the regulations. If you do it the other way around, if you would let that one guy that anyway would cheat, yeah. let it go his way, have less laws, and then the nine others could, you know, just spend more time on the business, that could also be a way. But I wasn't sure what is the best way to catch that one guy that tries to cheat or, you know, make life a bit more difficult, but have everyone follow the same laws? All right. A Good bit, question. Uh, yeah. A, a bit longer in my answer. When, when we are just facing um, youth unemployment, that is absolutely unacceptable. Mm. Anyhow, in certain parts of Europe, more than 60% of that category unemployed. Then you are talking about a lost generation, it's not a matter of just one year, no job, and so on. No job at all. So starting a family and so on is also quite difficult at that time. And what are you seeing over there? That the startups are a part of the solution. I'm not saying that it is the solution. And don't think that politicians, therefore, can just sit and wait and so on. But it should be shown to politicians, and therefore I'm repeating that message. Startups, give them the floor, give them opportunities, and not in a single market. And we do have a single market mm. in Europe without borders, still, by the way, roaming, but I try to get rid of roaming if this commission, if my successor. So uh, then you will get rid of roaming next year. Yes. That's, that should be done. But having said that, a single market should be a real single market, and especially talking about that issue, what you are touching upon, it shouldn't be when you have a success in the Netherlands, for example, and you want to develop the same formula in Germany or whatever, that you need to hire lawyers to get in that climate. It should be all over the same. So that is what is at stake that we should push, and therefore you should open your mouth. Politicians are interested in 
the phenomenon of a startup, but we should move it, and that is, by the way, with the involvement I uh, was mentioning earlier on, uh, beginning of next year, 2015, that we will push also the Dutch government for it. They are involved in that startup too, that it can't be done without real steps forward. And then they have to find out what that means. And that means having courage. You have courage to start, but then politicians, they have to start too. And, well, <laughs> lawyers still have enough, uh, still have enough uh, activities, no doubt about that. Absolutely. So um, uh, th th there is enough to do. But not just to find out in one of the member states of the European Union to get again such a high bill, loss of time, and uh, not opportunities enough. Right. We have time for one last question. And now everybody wants, of course, yeah. Uh, could you please throw it back? I see somebody there who sort of looks like a startup, I think, although he's wearing a tie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a student, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've written it down because I, I'm likely to forget this. But uh, Miss uh, Cruz, uh, it's a fantastic. Nailey. <laughs> Miss Nailey. <laughs> Nay, need Miss. Just Nailey. Nailey. Yeah. Nailey, it's a fantastic ambition to uh, improve the Amsterdam startup scene. Um, but why is Amsterdam uh, the, the right city to uh, improve that scene in? What, what climate is here that uh, will bring success to all those yeah. startups? Our initiative, what I was mentioning, is for the Netherlands. So just connecting also with Eindhoven, with Rotterdam, with Delft, with Twente, uh, with Utrecht. So it is just a cluster and you have to find somewhere your head office, so to say. Well, can you imagine when you are getting an opportunity for that historical area uh, near the waterfront, then uh, it is Amsterdam. By the way, you don't need to explain what Amsterdam is, where yeah. Amsterdam is, and how Amsterdam is. So let's use all the advantages, and let's get it in an involvement where we really make something out of it. And I really uh, hope that you will just uh, be interested in uh, being a startup to inf be involved. But what distinguishes uh, the Netherlands from Berlin? Why, why not oh, Berlin? OK, yeah. OK. Yeah. Um, by the way, it's not only Amsterdam. I'm not stupid, or I pretend not to be stupid. <laughs> it, it is talking about London, Berlin, Amsterdam, and therefore we should make our own uh, surroundings, so to say, and our own specialties. So it's not copying, it is not a bit more Silicon Valley. And I was so fed up when I had that digital agenda portfolio. Mm. So sometimes uh, my people were saying, well, we have seen uh, Silicon Valley and so on, and people are moving. People are also moving from Silicon Valley to Europe, and they are starting here. Why? Because our culture, because our surroundings are indeed also giving opportunities. So having said that, don't try to copy whatever. It should be our own climate in which we give more opportunities. And my goodness, it is a great area, and it's mm -hmm. one city, isn't it, the Netherlands? Absolutely. But are you wearing a Nike Fuel Band? Yeah. Wow. Did you receive your goal uh, today? Did you receive it already? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. For walking in Amsterdam, then you can. You <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. you can. Nelly Cruz, thank you so much for what you've done for the digital agenda and what you're doing for status. Thank you so much. It's Nelly Cruz.